in this video we're going to be talking about the upcoming announcement from Canon about a possible mirrorless camera that might have 4k video or maybe a mirrorless camera that has a full frame sensor but hey if you're new to this channel my name is Sean Cannell and my passion is helping you with really the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video and this is a live stream but if you're on the replay thanks so much for being here and what we're talking about is an announcement from Canon on canonrumors.com. So a couple disclaimers is that number one, this is still rumors, although there's some pretty bold statements, including sources and some data and some things we're gonna be looking at in this video. Um, but it is ultimately rumor still, and it's also not endorsed by Canon. Um, I've uh, worked with Canon, we've done some um, things on this channel together, but this video is just completely kind of speculation, but as you'll see, it's based on some data. So anyways, uh, thanks for being here. What's up, VK Bame, uh, Gaming? What's up, Rap Vita? What's up, uh, Muhammad Salt Mix? Thanks for being here. Let's check it out. So canonrumors.com has released this article, and it says this, that we reported last month that the next mirrorless camera from Canon would shoot 4K video, and it looks like we've confirmed that it will. You just saw the wrong screen. You saw the behind the scenes of my live stream setup. Let me give you the right screen. We'll actually see the article. And it says, uh, here we go, right? We reported last month that the next mirrorless camera from Canon would shoot 4K video, and it looks like we confirmed that it will. That would make the EOS M50 the first APS-C shooter from Canon to shoot 4K, and it adds a bit of credence to the special invite that they've invited people to. So I want to shoot this video because we always want to hook you up with like the best, you know, tools for creating video. And I know that a lot of you in this community, and maybe if you just discovered this video in search or something, maybe you're researching new cameras that could be dropping this year. When I heard this announcement, I wanted to get it out there just so you could kind of maybe plan and prepare if you're thinking about upgrading your camera this year, because I'm very excited about this announcement. I'd also love to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below, but let's keep going. So here's how the data is. This is another article on canonrumors.com, and it says that we have confirmed that a mirrorless camera will be announced ahead of the CP Plus show, which is on March 1st. So when is this officially going? When are we going to know for sure? Before March 1st, 2018, this uh, announcement's going to happen before the CP Plus, which is a photography show in Japan. Now, a couple things. It says they can't confirm that it's going to be called the EOS M50, but that's the logical assumption based on past information. So if you're like... Well, where do they get this information? How would people know about this? Well, one of the things that people, especially Canon Rumors, looks for is Canon always has to file patents before they release cameras. And so if you look at the past information here, uh, what that's talking about is these registered um, you know, certificates of a lot of new cameras that are coming out um, from Canon. That could be the 2000D, the 3000D, and the EOS M50. And so, you know, they have to, of course, get that legal protection before they drop a product to the market. So that's how people get that informa information. But here's a crazy line in this article that says this. We're told by a completely unknown source that the next mirrorless camera will shoot 4K. So who's the source? We don't know. It's completely unknown, but it is a source. And um, I was wondering in the difference. Anyways, so... That's pretty cool. And then the last thing here is that they also got some information that Canon sends a, a, a private invitation for dealers, and they just had this very elaborate invite, it says, um, getting VIPs for their mirrorless uh, camera announcement next month. The invitation was very high-end, and it had a picture of like a, a mirrorless body kind of with this cutout on it, which could mean a couple different things. Now, if you dive into the forums and whatnot, the other thing that might be dropping is a full-frame mirrorless camera from Canon, which I'd also be pumped about. And if it has 4K, I'd also be pumped about that. But I want to pass the question off to you now and, and ask, what are your thoughts? And I actually did a couple um, polls. And so I'm, I'm curious, if you click up on the YouTube card, um, I'm curious, do you have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor? Because sometimes people overhype, I think, 4K these days. And I don't know how relevant it is for most people. Personally, I think 4K is cool. I still shoot in a lot of 1080p myself. One of my favorite cameras right now is the Canon 6D Mark II. I've been shooting a lot with that. It's a full frame camera, but it does 1080p, 60 frames a second. 
And so um, I'm curious if you want to do that poll too, I'd love to hear from you. But also let me know in the comments, um, you know, a touch of film says I don't have any thing 4k geeky stuff says I'm a 1080p uh, man Abby says no idea if I have 4k so what 4k is is most cameras these days are shooting 1080p which is the screen size of the resolution and a lot of TVs and probably most homes in America and even around the world and developed nations and whatever are probably still 1080p if you look at the percentages but 4k is coming on the market and it's basically four times larger when it comes to the resolution so Deidre says no 4K, uh, Payton says I do have a 4K TV. So it sounds like a lot of 1080Ps. Um, now Kenneth says, you know, isn't 4K about shooting in 4K and downsampling for crispiness? That is one benefit of 4K, and that is that you can shoot this image that's 4X larger, but still work in a 1080P project, and you can either shrink the image down when you're doing video editing, and it's a lot sharper, as he just mentioned, or you can also crop in. So you could go a wide shot like this, but if it's you have all that 4K resolution, you could also crop in and maybe just do, so one camera angle could simulate multiple different camera angles allowing you to punch in. So that's definitely a benefit of, of 4K. Um, and so I'm curious, you know, are you pumped about this? Would it be exciting for you, uh, you know, if, if Canon would drop this? And what are your thoughts on this announcement? Now again, this is still a rumor, um, but as you saw, as you saw, they have a source. The uh, the patents have been filed in in Russia and whatever else. And there's definitely coming out. So one way or another, we're gonna know in a couple weeks what the drop is. And uh, Amar says, I think we shoot in almost all 4K everything. If you're watching this on the replay, I'd love to hear from your uh, you in the comments. What are your thoughts about 4K? Now, a couple other things about this is that. You know, I'm very excited about this camera regardless because I'm really loving the EOS um, M series, the mirrorless series. This is a Canon um, M100, which by the way, is one of the kind of best cameras out there, I think, in a, on, the, on a budget. For about $550 with the kit lens, you get a compact camera like this that actually has the same sensor as the Canon 80D. So it's an APS-C sensor here inside of this mirrorless camera. And um, it also, I'm excited because one way or another, a mirrorless camera is dropping. Before March 1st, it'll be announced. And it's either gonna have a full frame sensor or 4K or maybe both, or maybe nothing, who knows, right? Because again, these are just rumors. Um, and, but what I'm excited about too is to have a compact camera um, with some of those features. I'm liking the, the EF line, but one of the things that's a little bit limited on the EF line is their lens selection. So I'm also hoping that Canon drops some new lenses. That's actually why we did a video on this lens. This is actually a Rokinon lens, and um, I'll link that up on the YouTube card. And actually, by the way, all of these articles, all the data, if you wanna also look into the forum on Canon Rumors, there's a lot of good speculation from smarter, smarter people than me about different things. Um, and so all of those links are in the description below. But the cool thing is, when they drop this new mirrorless camera, um, you have all the EFM lenses, but you can also always pick up an adapter and use uh, standard Canon lenses. And I actually have the adapters here. Um, you can actually grab the actual Canon brand adapter. It's about 200 bucks, but if you look here on Amazon, you can get them like refurbished for around $100, which is a great deal. And there's even one by Photo Diox for $40. I've never tried it, but it's got great reviews. So let me know, are you thinking about upgrading your camera this year and how excited would you be for a mirrorless camera drop from Canon that potentially has 4K or a, um, a full frame sensor or both? Let me know. And um, uh, excited about 4K and full frame sensor, Deidre says. Um, so anyways, definitely just wanted to come on, make a, a quick video. Um, I've got a few other things I have to jump into. And I also did um, another poll up there. I'd love to hear from you. You can let me know in the comments. But is 4K a priority for you in your next camera purchase? Yes or no? A couple polls. I want, I'd love to get feedback from the community here. Um, is 4K a priority for you? Yes or no? Do you have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor? Yes or no? And that kind of you know helps me put in perspective just how relevant. I'm curious. In 2018, I know this is it's newer technology hasn't been widely ad uh, adapted, but I'm curious if um, if you are into it, what you think about it, 
and things like that. Well, hey, um, I will continue to jam with you in the comments. Um, if you're new here, uh, question of the day, I just shared them. Let me know in the comments. Do up the polls. Um, are, is 4K a big deal for you? Let me know. And if you're not subscribed, definitely uh, hit the subscribe button wherever that is. If you want to check out another video from Think Media, you can just click or tap the screen right here. And uh, until next time, Think Media is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.